honor of the Halloween season, I thought I'd do something, something different. So, enjoy. So, you want to know about, about, about what goes on here? I'll tell you. 300 years ago, long before you and I were alive, a small group of pilgrims lived in this very spot. They were hardworking, decent group of people. Once in a while, they would enjoy a good laugh. It was one exception. William Hanover, he was a strange man. Nobody liked him. Also, I was afraid of him. I mean, was it going to be jokes from William Hanover? Or even children had to watch their step on around him. Um, I wanted the truth of three and a four. Here comes Boogity out the door. Oh, Boogity, Boogity! Ah! The children called him Mr. Boogity. He lied and scary though. Boogity! Think it was a weirdo? Well, the women outside of Lucifer Falls were hardly lighting up outside Mr. Boogity's doorstep. Ah, uh, who could blame them? Boogity, boogity. So there's one exception. The lovely widow Marion lived with her sweet little boy Jonathan. Oh, good sisters, do you think he is all that bad? He trieth. I'm sure he trieth. I don't think so, mother. There. There. Have her fell in love with widow Marion. In fact, you wouldn't marry her. Think she wanted to? She turned him down. That wasn't the end of it. I mean, not hardly. Hera was way to anything. And I mean, anything. To win the hand. To win the hand of Widow Marion. Um, 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 after all, she was a man of great power and authority. You see how he thinks his own way. Some people say he sold his soul to the devil that night. Sold his soul for a magic cloak. A cloak so powerful make him invincible. A cloak so powerful will help him win the hand of Winamarian. <laughs> More than anything, he wanted Marion. And so one day when little Jonathan had a terrible cold and was on his way to the doctor, who should jump all the woods in his brand new magic cloak? Did you say, Mr. Boogie? Right! And he took Jonathan back to his house. 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 And he threatened Marion. She didn't marry him that very night. She would never, ever see Jonathan again. Just to be sure she went along with this, Mr. Boogie decided to cast his very first spell with a magic cloak. Something happened. He blew up his own house. <laughs> he blew up his house. The whole house is paired. Ever since then, every single house was built in this spot. It was haunted. And, and you wonder what happened to Mr. Boogity and Jonathan, Widow Marion? They all became ghosts. And still to this very day, Widow Marion still trying to get her little boy Jonathan back. In fact, Jonathan still has his cold. Well, nobody ever said being a ghost was easy. If you ever saw Buster Woody, if you were smart, you were me. I'd move. So what do you think? Pretty scary, huh? Pretty weird, huh? I hope you enjoyed the show.